Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and by now I think a lot of the internet, you, me, everyone knows about EDP 445. EDP was one of those individuals that was a giant meme, and he has had one of the longest running careers on the platform. He's had about 2.15 million subscribers, don't let this number fool you, he's been dropping hard. Why has EDP been dropping hard? Because EDP is an individual that actually got Chris Hansen. Not by Chris Hansen himself, he got a, almost I would say a Walmart Kroger, you know, Target brand, uh, you know, to catch a predator sting operation where he actually fell for it. EDP 445, for a lot of people not understanding, was an individual that was caught by, you know, an entire group, the Predator Poachers, uh, the Chet Goldstein group, who basically took EDP out for a ride, you know, quite literally brought him in, believing that he was speaking to, from what he knows, a 14-year-old person. Now, understand, EDP is in his late 20s. By all accounts, this isn't an idea of an allegation. This isn't some simple cancellation. This is predatory and criminal behavior. Now, you know, I don't know what's up with YouTube, but for like the last six, seven months, everyone's turning out to be like a predator at this point. I don't know. I don't understand it. You know, every week it seems like a new thing. But this isn't like regular cancellations, like I've said. This isn't like some allegation being thrown out where everyone's, you know, sort of wondering what side to go on and so forth. This is a straight and narrow. Dude is caught in 360 fucking PVR, ultimate formats, whatever you want to call it, some new Blu-ray level shit. This, this is as real as it gets. Now, to understand what led to this point, EDP 445, you know, has had this allegation happen before. If you go back like nine, ten months from now, he had an allegation very similar where his only response was, if you think I'm going to throw my life away for some underage, you know, shit, then uh, you're an idiot. Well... EDP, brother, you threw your life away, <laughs> is what happened. Now, this is something that I looked at a couple days ago on stream. Uh, typically, I was looking at these tr chat logs at this point, because there are about two hours, roughly an hour of chat log worthy stuff going on, where it slowly devolves from, hi kitten, how are you, to some real solid BDSM shit. I'm going to read you a message thread here real quick. We're going to do a little game. Is this something you send to a minor audience? Let's do it real quick. Good night, my cute little angel. Okay, that's what the decoy said. Good night, baby girl. Sleep tight. Already getting a little creepy. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Sorry, I'm tired. I'll call you tomorrow. My hair hurts from school. Lol, I won't, babe. 14, by the way, just keep just keep remembering. You feel that little tingling in the back of your neck? Yeah, that's a conscience right now. Savor it. Only thing I'll be biting are those cute little ears of yours. Sleep tight. And then you've got the three monkey emojis. Are you disgusted already? Don't worry, we got a couple more to share. Kiss your daddy goodnight, lol. Sleep tight, princess, to which we get this image right here. Now, I don't have to be, I, I'm not a lawyer or anything, I think I should just disclose that, but you don't have to be a fucking lawyer to tell that that is, that is enough to get you in some serious trouble with the fucking law. Now, it, it's not only that, after the, after all these messages are out, EDP decided to go to this girl's house, allegedly, the sting operation that was playing out, EDP believed he was going to a 14-year-old's house, apparently risking his entire life for, get it, get it right now, a fucking cupcake. Ladies and gentlemen, this is disgusting, all right? The fact that EDP's channel hasn't been taken down as of me recording this right now, YouTube, you need to step up your game at this point. You're out here demonetizing channels and everything, which, you know, it is, it's up to your discretion. But last week, we literally just had a creator responsibility policy. There is no way you can have this bumbling idiot on the platform with the rest of us, making all of us look like fucking shit in comparison because we share a platform with a guy that literally got to catch a predator. I am using that verbiage very strongly. EDP didn't just commit a mistake, a simple issue. You know, at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, I think a lot of people make mistakes. The people who made this video, by the way, the predator poachers, aren't exactly, you know, sin-free either. The the guy in blue that you're seeing over here literally was caught, you know, on video saying some racist shit, saying some straight up, like, homophobic. I, th I think he was saying some phobic shit at the time, for sure. There's clips of it floating around. So I'm not defending these people either because they kind of took this entire situation, if you watch the 
the 55 minutes of this whole interview, well, 53, 52 minutes, there are moments where they're making like jokes here and there. One of the guy gets really up and down. They're definitely stretching it out by repeating the same points over and over again. I don't know why that necessarily is, nor do I think putting jokes into this serious situation is really all that fucking important. EDP was caught by these individuals. They're not exactly complete saints either, but if they're making some dark, edgy jokes, that's marginally better for sure than this guy on the right straight up predatoring after a fucking minor all right not saying that i'm defending either of them you know in a perfect world you can choose to be not him or him so you know there's 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 leeway for all of this shit but to to sort of come back to the point i almost didn't want to look at it because when you watch the entire two-hour chat log transcription it really does hurt to read because this guy escalates to a point where it's just not even, it's not even something you want to even hear. It's just complete disgusting nonsense. And when you see this entire thing play out, which, you know, up until this video's release, I thought it was a fucking joke. I almost thought, I, I almost believed in my heart that it was like a joke. It had to be like some weird fucked up sort of setup or something going on, right? Between these two. No, it wasn't. This guy's legitimately a full-on predator. He got caught and in this video at the end, he pretty much walked away, ran. I don't know if the police are really onto this. I don't even know if the evidence is appropriately submitted yet. But given what I've watched in this 55 near hour long transmission, if EDP doesn't go to jail for a long fucking time, then it's enough to tell you that the justice system is so heavily goddamn flawed, it's not even fucking funny. And this is, again, another issue on this platform too. EDP is one of those dudes where he had a platform large enough, a personality great enough, where he could have gotten legal attention. So the fact that he went out of his way to go after a 14 year old, which even in this video, it wasn't even the first time he admitted to doing this wasn't the first situation he's had interactions up in uh, above like two three times at least so this guy is almost a veteran of this disgusting behavior and the fact that he's caught is a great thing first off it protects a lot of individuals right i know a lot of people have had issues with the to catch a predator nonsense and don't get me wrong i have some issues too but one thing for sure is that if this sting operation hadn't have happened and there was an actual 14 year old present and edp was just going there for the cupcake i i I, I cringe to think how scary things would have gotten had a sting operation not existed. So at least in that capacity, we can be thankful that this guy actually ended up being caught, exposed, and now he's out of the fuck. Now, now, now he has no career, okay? If you're still defending EDP after what we've just watched, you are an absolute numbskull at this point because there's no defending this kind of bullshit. This is disgusting, abhorrent fucking behavior, and the fact that this guy's channel is still active, not even on YouTube, but Instagram, TikTok, wherever he's dwelling, is, is a disgust to the internet fucking platform itself. It's a disgust to the internet in general wherever edp is i hope for all sakes you get some actual help you know despite you doing some of the most disgusting heinous shit known to man indefensible shit okay there's no coming back from this in my opinion you you will you will never be forgiven i can never forgive edp i don't think most of the internet will ever forgive edp and even with that said i actually hope edp gets some fucking help whether it be therapy whether it be something and i actually hope that edp has not harmed any minor. I hope nothing comes out where an actual child is hurt from this individual. So all in all, ladies and gentlemen, I, I really hope this, this idiot gets some help. And honestly, besides the help too, I hope he gets arrested at some point. I don't know if that's a case or not. I don't know if he's been busted or what's happened, but EDP deserves to be behind bars for a long fucking time. This isn't a cancellation. This isn't anything. This is the fucking system calling itself. And I think after witnessing EDP and how disgusting YouTube has become lately with all this predator shit coming out. I really hope there's a clearing house at some point so we can get past all this because you know what? At the end of the day, this makes all of us look bad. All right. I know that might sound like some guilt by association type shit, some hyperbolic nonsense, but at the end of the day, if we all as a community don't get together and like fucking absolutely self police ourselves to protect not only children, especially from these kind of people, then we all don't really deserve to have a fucking platform in my opinion. So yeah, uh, fuck EDP, you know, fuck this whole nonsense. I hope this guy gets arrested and hopefully gets some help with his sick fantasies and bullshit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the EDP 445 situation. It's pretty much all you need to know. Uh, I'm sorry if I didn't get too graphic into the situation. Um, you could probably understand why. That being said, this is me, Mudahar, and uh, 
I'm out. <laughs>